All right, here comes another example. Let's go ahead and solve this system using graphing. And uh, we'll go ahead and put this first equation here in red, just so that we can see the difference between the lines. And we see that that has a y-intercept of 1, and the slope is 2. So once again, I, I plot as many points as I can using the slope. And then I graph the line, which gives me something like this. Okay. The next equation we'll put in purple. But uh, to graph this, some of you may need to change this into slope-intercept form. So we would subtract 4x from both sides. So that gives us a negative 2y equals negative 4x minus 2. And then we'll divide everywhere by negative 2 to isolate the y. So y equals a 2x plus 1. So that gives us a y-intercept of 1 right here. And I'll use the slope 2 over 1 to draw the rest of the line. So what do we notice about these two lines here? Well, uh, hopefully you guys can see that they are actually the same line. And if we look at the equations, they are the same, right? So what this means is that uh, the solution to a system of equations is where the two lines intersect or where they're touching. This one is touching everywhere. So in a system of equations, technically we would write the answer as a set where we're going to use the x and y values. And then we just write the equation, which would be y equals 2x plus 1. And then we close the set. Okay. In other words, what this tells us is that for any value of x and y that make this a true statement, it is a solution to this equation as well.